What's up, Scorpio? What's up, twins? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So, as I just said, this is going to be a twin flame reading, Scorpio. So, if you know that you are on a twin flame journey, if you're trying to see if you're on a twin flame journey, guess what? You have twins into the right channel, you guys. So, if anything resonates, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell, okay? And comment, Scorpio. So, we're going to start off with some angel numbers, okay? Oh, my goodness. Alright, angel numbers for my Scorpios. I ain't taking all these Scorpios. I'm going to take these two that flipped over, okay? Alright, Scorpio. So, if you are seeing the number 000, okay? This is letting you know that a new cycle is about to begin on this twin flame journey, okay? This talks about you, Scorpio, or your twin, or both of you guys. You may have completed a cycle, okay? And you know when you're in a cycle, then you got to have new beginnings, okay? So, if you're seeing 000, Scorpio... A new cycle is about to begin on this twin flame journey, okay? Then we have 157. Decisions you have made have put you on the path for your divine purpose. Along this path, you will grow spiritually so that you can obtain your higher purpose, okay? So some of you guys, this could be for some of my twins, you know, that are on this first wave. Now, I will explain, try to explain a little bit as I can, Scorpio, about this twin flame journey as I go. But you guys, this the... The twins, they come in waves, you know what I'm saying? You have a first wave, a second wave, and a third wave. You know, and some twins, I feel like <clears throat> some of you guys, maybe you're on that first wave. It's like you're just now maybe about to meet your twin, or some of you guys you may have just recently met your twin here, okay? But this is explaining what this twin flame journey, okay? And this twin flame journey is all about, it's not even just really being about your twin, Scorpio. It's about you one, walking on your divine path and becoming the best version of you, Scorpio. And when you and your twin both align on this journey, because both of you guys have to go through things throughout this journey, okay? Both of you guys have karmic debt, generational curses that you have to close out. And once you do and you both elevate, then you guys can come into union, okay? So we have Shot Clock, okay? And the lyrics, this is by Ella May, you guys. So if you're not familiar with this song, please go look this up on YouTube, Okay? And, but the lyrics are, can you beat the shot clock? What you waiting for, little daddy? I ain't got much time. I'm going to say bye, bye, bye. Better know I won't think twice. Better let go of your pride, okay? So this talks about you guys. Some of you Scorpios, you feel like your twin on this shot clock. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say this, Scorpio, and I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I'm a twin on this journey. That's why I was led to do this in the first place. You know, but... I feel like a lot of us Scorpios, we've elevated. First, if you're in the divine feminine energy, you're always going to be ahead of your masculine on this journey anyway, okay? It's like your masculine is going, going to like basically have to play catch up on this twin flame journey, okay? Because a lot of you guys, you have already elevated. Some of you guys, you're already walking on your spiritual path. You know what I'm saying? You know that you have spiritual gifts and you're doing that. Some of your twins, you know, some of your, your counterparts, you know, they're not even aware that they're, you know, your twin, whether you told them or not. Because some of you guys, they may not believe you. I told my twin he was my twin. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talked to him for a good two, three weeks after that. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, a lot of the twins are still having to come into this awakening stage. But anyway, back to the song, Scorpio. So some of you guys could be feeling like your twin is on this shot clock. You know, you kind of been waiting for this person. You've been waiting for a reunion. You've been waiting on communication. You've been waiting on the truth. You have been in this waiting energy. You know what I'm saying? And, you you know, you're telling your twin, like, look, I ain't got that much time. Like, I know I can't rush this. I know this whole situation is going to play out in divine time, which it is, Scorpio. It's not on our time because, one, you want your twin to come back the right way. You don't want your twin coming back to you the same way they were because all you're going to do is keep on repeating the same old cycles. I mean, if you guys are cool, we'll repeat the same old cycles and going through the same old shit with your twin, then, hey, carry on. But if you're not, you know what I'm saying, you're going to have to walk away from your twin. You're going to have to choose yourself first. Even though you know that's the love of your life, you're going to have to choose yourself first because if not, you're just going to go through this repetitive cycle and you're not going to get nowhere. I'm just going to keep continuously be broken hearted. You know, but anyway, I feel like some of you guys, if you have not already walked away from your twin on this journey, okay, you're in this energy right now that you kind of like, you know, F it, like, you know, I want to be with this person. I would like to see what a relationship would be like with this person, you know what I'm saying? But if they can't get this shit together, then I got to move on, you know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what you're supposed to do, Scorpio. This, this journey is all about choosing yourself you know what i'm saying learning that you are a choice and the choice sometimes is to choose yourself you know what i'm saying you don't always have to choose love it don't matter how much you love a person if a person don't treat you right scorpio why would you continue to deal with this person you know what i'm saying 
So, some of you guys, it's like you're telling your twin, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't think that I won't let go. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that I won't walk away. Because your twin, you know, they got a big ego. They full of pride. A lot of your divine counterpart, Scorpio, they never would imagine. I know my twin probably didn't ever think I would ever have the courage to walk away. But I had to, Scorpio, because I got tired of the same shit. We get tired of being lied to. We get tired of our feelings getting hurt. We crying and shit. Who want to keep doing that, Scorpio? I don't. I don't know about y'all, but I don't. You know what I'm saying? So, for a lot of you guys, your twin is someone who had a lot of pride. They had a big ego. They was like, oh, I'm dicking Scorpio down. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Scorpio will never let me go. Shit, they thought they thought, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to have to make that a shirt. They thought they thought. Okay? <laughs> but this person is, is, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, Scorpio, you're telling your twin, like, shit, you got to let go of that pride, my dude. You know what I'm saying? Or my, my baby or my whoever. Because if you don't, I'm going to have to walk away from this situation. I feel like, Scorpio, that's exactly where you at. So we're going to get some messages from your higher self. And then, of course, Scorpio, y'all already know this going to be a what? Part two. <laughs> I'm about to give me another SP card, you guys, so I can make these videos a little longer. But I kind of like doing the part twos as well. Because eventually I want to do some extended videos and stuff, you know. But I just want to give you as many messages as I can, Scorpio. Okay. Because, shit, I know when I first found out about this twin flame journey and everything, shit, I was watching tarot all day trying to figure out what the hell is going on, okay? So, Scorpio, we have, will, will I ever move on from this person or situation? So, Scorpio, some of you guys, your higher self, but even your twin, it's like you're wanting to move on. Remember I said you want to say bye to this person. You want to get this, your twin out of your energy, but guess what, Scorpio? I'm going to tell you the truth. You can't, Scorpio. This is your dog on twin flame. This person, this is your other half, Scorpio. This person always energetically is going to be with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to deal with them, but they always energetically going to be with you. If I don't do what people want me to, am I okay with them being mad at me? Mm, Scorpio, this talks about either your higher self or your twin's higher self. I'm going to put this on your twin, Scorpio. A lot of them was people pleasers. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why they stayed, stayed in a karmic connection, the reason why they did this and that, because they ain't want people mad from Scorpio, hey? And Scorpio, we could have been like that too, you know what I'm saying? At one point, we, we was people pleasers. We didn't want people mad at us. We was yes man to everybody. And the whole time, we knowing we really didn't want to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly how your twin is feeling here. This person is tired of being this people pleaser, okay? All right, Scorpio, we're going to pull some more messages. So meet me in part two, Scorpio. I love you.